live look at Lake Tahoe and let's get it straight over to meteorologist Heather Waldman for what we're experiencing today in the valley. Just a gorgeous day. Beautiful day, wasn't it? Just some high thin clouds that you see there over Tahoe. We're seeing them from time to time over the valley too. This is what it looks like over Fairfield. So just kind of filtered sunshine and in some places, you know, they maybe capped the potential for the warming today, but still well above average for mid April. Here's a look at the high clouds here on our high resolution satellite image and notice how you can still see the ground through them. So they're not blocking out all that much. 78 degrees right now at Executive Airport, 80 in Yuba City at 77 in Fairfield. Look at San Francisco reaching 71 degrees today and we're in the low to even mid 60s at lake level in the Sierra. This evening, it's going to be great for getting outside. If you don't have the windows open up now, it's going to be a good night to do so with temperatures staying in the upper 60s through 8 this evening, still in the mid to upper 50s even at midnight. First thing tomorrow morning, most valley spots will likely still be in the lower 50s with a light breeze. Here's the bigger picture of the satellite and you can see those high clouds just kind of out in wide open space. We're under a big ridge of high pressure. That's going to be hanging with us through tomorrow. Fridays when it starts to back away and that's where we will start to see some change. So tomorrow similarly warm, maybe a degree or two higher in some spots. Quincy should make it to 70 degrees tomorrow. We'll be at 63 in South Lake Tahoe. Truckee mid 60s again, pretty much where we are right now. But notice the mornings it is going to be you know, the typical chill with temperatures starting in the 20s, but should be a brighter day with that area of high clouds moving out for tomorrow. Plenty of sun for the foothills tomorrow too. light winds. So starting in the upper 40s to low 50s ending in the low 70s from Grass Valley, mid 70s tomorrow afternoon in Sonora and down in Angels Camp. Closer to the coast, a little bit of an onshore breeze will start to pick up in the afternoon, but not before temperatures in the Bay Area and the East Bay end up in the lower 80s in Concord, 68 degrees in San Francisco. Wouldn't be surprised to see some of the neighborhoods a little closer to 70 degrees tomorrow as we keep the sun shining nice and bright through the day. San Joaquin Valley should have more spots reaching the 80s tomorrow, adding a couple degrees. Turlock will be in the upper 70s after starting in the mid 40s. Meanwhile, in Lodi, we should climb to 83 tomorrow afternoon. We'll get to 82 degrees in Tracy. And around Sacramento, we'll tack on a few more degrees here too. Should end up in the lower 80s today, near mid 80s as we go through the day on Thursday. 83 in Roseville, 86 in Yuba City, and Elk Grove should come in right at 84 degrees. If you like this little spring warm up, enjoy it. Things are going to start to change into Friday. I mentioned that onshore breeze. Here it is Thursday afternoon into the evening. You may notice it in Fairfield, perhaps in winters and certainly closer to the coast. Not much wind in the central part of the valley, but watch what happens on Friday. That onshore flow increases. It fans out across the area and that's where we start to see the temperature dropping. It'll be a relatively slow process. We'll go from the mid 80s on Thursday to the mid 70s on Friday. So we're talking about a big cool down, but remember, the average high this time of the year is still in the lower 70s. Yes, we do still have those shower chances Saturday and Sunday. Mm. It's getting a little clearer that it's looking like Sunday may be the better okay. of the two days. Okay. We can talk a little bit more about that. So the, the